so if we draw the timeline for this situation so the current age is x and z is here so the time of death is between x and z so we are interested on this interval so if we use the cdf or the df probability of death we need to take f x z at time z minus f x at time x however if we use survival distribution function so we take s x minus s x at time z remember this equation and then we can get this this equation if x is a continuous the pdf so the third notation is pdf is given by the small f so first probability of death the notation is big f second one survival distribution function is the sx and the third one is pdf uh, in previous slide how to calculate the um, big f we can integrate the small f so from big f to small f we have to integrate Therefore, if you want to get the CDF from FF, we have to differentiate. That's why here we differentiate CDF to get PDF. Alright, so if you want to find PDF using SDF, we have to put negative in front so still it comes from this equation so this equation is very important the fourth notation is mu x so mu x is equal to pdf over the sdf next one Force of mortality, the FM, represents the instantaneous risk of imminent of death for an individual. What is imminent? It's about to happen, meaning that the death is about to happen. So far, we already learned CDF, SDF, PDF, and FM. There are equivalent forms of specifying the distribution of x. So remember, x h at death. Show that so s x is a proper survival function. So to determine whether it's proper survival function or not it must fulfill three characteristics so s x must be non-increasing function s x at x equal to zero equal to one and s x at infinity equal to zero so first we want to check whether it is increasing or decreasing so we plug in first x is equal to zero so we plug in x is equal to zero in this function and we will get 
one and then if we plug in one inside it become zero point nine two so it is decreasing so far so we plug in one more value so let's say x equal to 10 So it becomes zero. So meaning that it is decreasing. So it fulfills the first characteristic and then at x equal to 0 equal to 1 it fulfill also the second characteristic and when x when x is equal to infinity or the bigger number or the largest number it become 0 and it also fulfill the characteristic so it is proven that this function is a proper survival distribution function so cdf we write down in the notation is fx so 1 minus e negative x cube over 12 given that x must be equal or greater than 0 but we can find using survival function or the cumulative distribution function if we use survival function then we have to differentiate the sx and put negative in front and you also can try using the cdf if we differentiate the cdf so we don't put the negative in front so next force of mortality so force of mortality or mu x is equal to the pdf over the survival function now we go to exercise one First, show that Sx is a proper SDF. So, it shows that this function is decreasing. And at Sx equal to 0 is equal to 1. And Sx equal to 10 or the infinity or the larger number, it becomes 0. So, it is proper so let's try B and then we find the PDF so the PDF is referring to small f and we can use CDF to find the PDF and last one is force of mortality or mu x okay c c we have to calculate 
as x at x equal to 11. However, since dx is from 0 to 10, so as x 11 is equal to 0, all time 0. Even though you plug in the value inside the equation, it becomes negative. We consider it as 0 because as x infinity is equal to 0. We go to next section. Time until death for a person age x. The conditional probability that a newborn will die between the age x and z given survival to age x. Conditional probability meaning that that individual is alive until age x. So we are interested on the probability from x to z. So given that from zero, a newborn, an individual mass must survive here. So this is the conditional. So this is the conditional probability where this one is referring to this one and this one is referring to this one.